You've cleaned your vaults, grinded out armor, and want to be set up for Lightfall. It's time to make some builds. Hey there, I am your Commander Pika, and this will be a brief tutorial on the loadout configurators of Dim and D2 Armor Picker. Now, build crafting is being revamped in Lightfall. An overhaul to mods, additions and alterations to fragments, new armor, removal of armor affinities, and a new loadout system. To allow for these changes, we're going to bake in some mod and stat wiggle room, allowing you to easily tweak your builds once these changes go live. For a refresher on how armor and stats work, I'll leave some resources down in the description. Let's start with Dim. Besides moving gear around and tracking triumphs, Destiny Item Manager is great for creating builds. To start, click the Loadouts tab on the top bar. This screen will show you all previously saved builds, the ability to equip, edit, and share them with your friends, as well as create new loadouts. If you know exactly what you want, then either hit the Create Loadout button and manually select everything you want, or if you have it currently equipped, just hit Save Loadout. For an informed decision based on all available gear, mods, and stats, we shall use the Loadout Optimizer menu, so click that to start. Front and center, you'll see each of the core stats, their values for that specific build based on your set parameters, and their total tier, designated as the T number above them. The higher the number, the more efficient your allocation of stats. Strive to get close to, or exceed, tier 30 without mods, which is roughly perfect allocation of 60 stat armor. For a brief description and total value of the stat, mouse over them. To tweak parameters, look to the menu on the left. At the top, you have all six character stats. Use the drop-down menus to set their minimum and maximum desired values. Additionally, you can reorder the stats to alter the search hierarchy, meaning the topmost stat gets searched for first. I personally leave them in default order to mimic how they are displayed in-game. Because elemental affinities are going away in Lightfall, leave the lock element option set to none so it doesn't factor in affinities. For armor masterwork, I recommend setting it to all, this makes all armor have max armor energy and the plus 12 stats from masterworking, but are reflecting the end state of your build. The bottom section allows you to tweak gear, mods, and subclass parts you want factored in. Now, always center a build around an exotic, even those with generic effects. For mods, you can select all that you want for your build. However, like previously mentioned, this system is getting completely overhauled. I personally just focus on raw stats to be more flexible down the line in mod allocation. Similarly, you can select and customize a subclass, slotting in fragments that apply bonuses and negatives to stats. Like mods, use at your own discretion as the stats they grant might get rebalanced in Lightfall. The pin option forces selected items to be part of the generated build. Great if you want to use a specific item based on looks, raid mod slots, or bonuses. Conversely, you have the exclude item option, useful for making sure certain items are considered in builds, like zero power mass from Festival of the Lost and Sunset Gear. Let's make an example build. For something that is subclass neutral and will help fulfill my Spider-Man fantasies, I'll select Armamentarium as my exotic. No items to exclude or pin. Most fragments detract from the discipline stat, so I'll set it to tier 8 for now. I'm a PvE Titan, so for damage resist and barricade cooldown, I want a high resilience stat, so 7 to start. Don't care about mobility, intellect, and strength, so let's limit them to tier 3. Recovery impacts are healing, so I want a decent amount, so tier 6. With that, we are left with just a handful of builds, and then one at the top seems perfect. Near max discipline, solid resilience and recovery in all values that could be maxed out with stat armor mods and fragments if I so wish. So I'll save the loadout with a name and then make sure to lock and mark each item so that I don't accidentally delete them. The other popular option, D2 Armor Picker, is a more robust tool that is easier on the eyes. Large icons, more toggles, and more information, like what the effective cooldown of each stat has on every version of that ability, fragment and mod stat values, and much more. At the top, you can set what stat values you desire for your build, what specific exotic armor piece you wish to use, armor stat mods you wish to factor into the build, and then toggles for the various mods and fragments that affect character stats. The armor limitation section is a little different. By default, the tool will factor every combination of mods and armor to create your desired stat splits. To make it not use armor mods, max out the energy of each slot. You'll then see all the mods get crossed out. At the bottom is advanced settings. These are more options to tweak what items and gear characteristics are factored when sorting builds. I recommend the toggle configuration I have set up here, but mess around based on your needs. To make it similar to our dim example, assume all items are masterworked. The right side will show all the combinations based on our previous set parameters. To see a complete breakdown of the build, click on the row and the section will expand for more information, detailing items used, stats, mods, cost to masterwork, and an option to export that build to dim so you can save and manage it there. Now let's make an example build. Hunter this time and I desire the quickest of all abilities. So I'll select Frosties as my exotic. To help with a minimum amount of survivability, let's start with Tier 5 Resilience and Recovery. Need some mobility for dodge cooldowns, but we can also add more with Lightweight Weapons and Killing Wind, so let's place this at Tier 5 for now. 
For abilities, I want to spam grenades, so tier 8 for that, and 5 for strength. With that, we see that we can still push these stats further. I want to be as resistant in PvE as possible, so let's max resilience. Now we are left with a few builds. Top one looks pretty good, so to save, click Open Loadout in Dim. This will launch Dim and preload all components of that build. Just name and save it. Hopefully you now understand the basics of these loadout optimizers. Create as many builds as you want to help figure out what armor pieces are worth keeping. Just don't try to min-max stats. Remember, leave a little wiggle room. If you want some other tips on cleaning your vaults and prepping for Lightfall, check out these other guides. As always, I am your Commander Pika. Be kind, have fun, and I'll see you on the battlefield.